Britain's first black female TV reporter made her debut. In the 1960s, Barbara Blake Hanna, like many others of the Windrush generation, came to the UK in search of new opportunities. But she faced constant racism, and after eight years, she returned to Jamaica. She's been talking to the BBC's Simi Jolo Osho. July 31st, 1968. The Times newspaper printed a spread on Barbara Blake Hanna. The night before, she'd become the first black woman to report the news on British television. Yes, to be in the Times, the whole page. To be a journalist on television is the highest place for a journalist to be. And I'd achieved that. That was really cool. That was really nice. Barbara reported on community stories for Eamon Andrews' show on Thames Television. That was until her contract came to an end after just nine months. Too many viewers had complained about having a black person on their screens. Or can you just have to accept it? Yeah, that was all part of the, you're, you're not good enough. You're black, you're not good enough. Racism was a big awakening. She later got a job on ATV, a regional channel based in Birmingham, but things didn't improve during her six months there. The racism was more pronounced in Birmingham, on the set and on, on the street. We were at a, at a party at a bar. A glass broke and Splinter jumped up and cut me and some drunk white girl said, oh, it's red, like she thought my blood was going to be another colour. How did you cope with all the racism that you faced in the UK? Because you were there for about eight years. You would ignore it. You ignore that kind of behaviour as best you can. Some people can't. I guess I learned how to, at least for eight years, until I thought enough is enough, time to leave. You know, why stay where you're hated? Barbara moved behind the scenes working on films and TV shows. She championed Jamaica's arts and culture and founded the Reggae Film Festival. She also continued her journalism, interviewing celebrities and politicians. In 1984, she herself became Jamaica's first Rastafari senator. Barbara later received an order of distinction from the Jamaican government. But to her, one accomplishment matters the most. My greatest achievement is having had a child, being a mother, mm -hmm. having had a wonderful child, my son Mahonen. All my awards and medals, these are just special gifts along the way. Now 82, Barbara hopes her legacy will inspire others. Simi Jalausho, BBC News, Kingston, Jamaica.